Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV MTK Global, delighted to be joined by Mr. Josh O'Reilly in the Matcham Residency Bubble. How are we, Josh? I'm doing good, man. Thank you. How long have you been here? Obviously, you come from Canada. Um, not really the way you'd like to be in London, I suppose. You'd like to perhaps get out, see some stuff, take the whole, I don't know, atmosphere in. But um, it's a bit of a different one in the bubble. But sort of tell us about your journey and how long how long you've been here. Yeah, we got in on uh, Friday. Um, we had to quarantine in the room for a full day, get the COVID test and whatnot. Um, and we've just been in the hotel pretty much all week since we can't leave. So uh, the first day before we got in, we checked out Wembley quick, but it's weird. Like it's a ghost town, right? It would be sick to check out, you know, kind of the area, but it is what it is. I bet you're banging your head off the wall at this point. I mean, I've only just got into the hotel, done my isola- isolation yesterday. Yeah. And I'm a bit bored in isolation. I mean, you've been here for a week already. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's uh, it's definitely, it's weird. But, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't minded. Usually five weeks for me are way more stressful. I'm running around like I had cut it with my kitchen with the head cut off to, to sell tickets and whatnot. So uh, for me, it's been a really chill week. Just focus on training, focus on the weight, focus on the fight. How big of an opportunity is it for you? Not just the fight, but the fact you're fighting in the UK and on Sky Sports. Because in the UK, our fans sort of, like to get behind and follow people who've come over here and done well and I feel like we've got a little Canadian connection because of Lennox Lewis as well so I don't know is this your chance to break out and become a bit of a star in the UK of course man like no one no one in the world has ever heard of me you know what I mean it's a massive opportunity and I'm uh, dumb to to not realize that uh you know and and I'm I'm in a fight that I think is gonna has a potential to be super entertaining James Tennyson's never in a bad fight um you know I'm, I'm excited about it the Irish Golovkin I've heard him called a couple of times. It's a pretty big statement. We know he carries power. Um, what do you make of James Tennyson, the fighter? Uh, I think he's really good. I think he's very exciting to watch. Um, you know, he brings brings a lot of pressure. The power is definitely something I'm going to have to be be uh, be on on high alert for. Um, and I'm expecting I'm going to have to weather kind of an early storm. Um, you know, so we just got to be smart, especially early on. But as fight progresses, I see myself taking over. People who don't know too much about you, they'd look at your record, they'd see that you're undefeated, you haven't fought outside of Canada. I mean, how have you looked so far? Have you found the professional game? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've changed and, and developed over my, my pro career. And, uh, you know, I, I think I've developed a lot of lot of areas where, where people wouldn't, wouldn't think I would. You know, I'm a really tall, lightweight. I can fight on the inside pretty well. And... Um, you know, I can box and move at the same time. I'm going to have to use a little bit of everything in this fight. So it's a, it's a good chance for me to showcase all that. And coming from Canada, what's boxing like over there? Because other than perhaps Pascal, David Lemieux, um, Ryan Ford's been over here to fight Joshua Boatze. It doesn't seem like it's the biggest sport over there. I know hockey's obviously the number one sport, yeah. but what's the boxing scene like in Canada? Um, yeah, I mean, we definitely got some tough guys. Like Ryan Ford's a really tough guy. And, and you know, all the kids coming out of Quebec, there's a lot of skill coming out of Quebec. And... There's a lot of skill coming from where I'm from too, and and you know uh, we just don't have the same kind of spotlight on it. Hockey's definitely the main sport, and um, you know there's no real money invested in the boxing, so um, it, it's obviously all, all the money goes to hockey, man. All the eyes are on that, so it is what it is. I'm happy to to get this opportunity. I just got to make the most of it. If all the money's on hockey, then why are you here? How is it boxing? How did you end up falling into into this sport? Um, well, I was playing hockey actually, and uh, you know, so you, yeah, that's it. So you were in hockey yeah, first, then. Uh, yeah, everyone's in hockey. I was in hockey and basketball, and uh, you know, I was a small kid, and and I was I was a good athlete, but I uh, I was it was difficult for me as as being a small kid. I wanted to do something where it was uh, you know, more more weight classes or size based, and you know, as a young kid, I got a lot of scraps too. And um, my 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 hockey coach actually was. Uh, his two sons were, were prof- aren't they professional boxers too, Jesse and Stephen Wilcox, and, and I played with them. And uh, you know, next thing you know, I ended up at the gym and just stuck with it. When did you sort of realize I'm actually quite good at this and I can make something of myself? Was it quite early on when you took it up? Yeah, I mean, it's not like I was a natural. I was a kid who just stuck with it, and I always had, I um, always had it in my mind on what I wanted to do. I remember going to the boxing gym the first day, and I had intentions of turning 
turning pro one day, you know what I mean? And that's probably just the thing as a young kid, but I just kind of, that, that those intentions never really left. And especially in Canada too, it's not like, you know, maybe here in, in, in Ireland and places like that, like they have Olympic aspirations. Like, I don't know, I, I never, when I watch boxing on TV, I'm watching pro fights as a kid, right? So that was, my idea was, I didn't even know about Olympic boxing. So, um, yeah, it's weird how it worked out. I can imagine the financials are tough as well. Did you have to work another job alongside in your, the early days of your career? Yeah, yeah. I worked uh, when I first turned pro. I was at a fast food place. Um, yeah. Where? Where? I was working at a Tim Hortons, which is the most Canadian thing ever. And I, uh, you know, my my owner actually, who who runs it, helped me out a lot of my pro, pro career as well. So uh, that was a great place to work. And um, you know, I, I went through 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 college when I was when I was in as a as a professional as well. So. I've always been working and through school and I've been able to to continue to do well. So, uh, you know, now it's kind of been a, a position where I've been able to train a little bit harder and focus way more on boxing and, and you know, should should show on Friday night. If you got anyone orders wrong, I can't imagine they'd have been, they'd have been complaining. Um, so we fast forward to now, you're ranked with the WBA and you won a couple of American titles from that sort of North American region as well. Yeah, I won the WBA, NABA title last January and the first title I won was so IBA International I'm not, I'm not even really sure what it was but uh yeah I won a few belts and you know this is this is by far the biggest biggest test of my career and the biggest opportunity um you know there's no title on the line here but but there's a lot more at stake you're obviously an eliminator not a final eliminator but an eliminator for the WBA lightweight title it's a sexy division let's be honest um, Tifimo Lopez just took the world by storm. Tank wants smoke down at 135. Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell go at it for the uh, the other belt in the collection. Um, yeah, it's a nice division to be in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's some some huge names, and uh, you know it's one of those things where I already through Friday night, and uh, I don't think it'd be something where I'm, I'm looking to get in with those guys right away. But uh, you know, um, this is a fight I think I can win, and that's why I came here. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what takes place after that. Just finally, can you give us a little salesman pitch? Why should the UK fans tune in? Not just to the main event, because I'm sure they will on Friday night, but why should they tune in and make sure they catch you on the box? Yeah, I mean, I think this is going to be the most exciting fight, uh, fight on the show. Don't miss it. Um, you know, most people would have never seen me fight, but I've been in some good scraps, and James Tennyson is never in a bad one, so tune in. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.